This is all dry. It adhered really good. I'm really happy with it. All the corners are really good. I don't see any, any places that it's not adhered good. So now's the time to uh, cut the paper off. And so what I do, um, I make sure that my blade is in really tight. I make sure that I've got a new blade in there so that it cuts really good. Because if you've got a dull blade, it makes it harder to, to trim it. And it also leaves little frayed edges. So do that. You can do this as well. And this is putting the cork side out on this and getting this absolutely as tight as you can against your cradled wood and then running the X-Acto knife right, right down to the paper, getting it as close as you can all the way across and you're going to go across two or three times. It's a little tricky to get this. I prefer now that I've done this numerous times, I prefer just using my X-Acto knife, getting it at about a 45 degree angle and going down as close to the wood as I possibly can without digging into the wood because that will really be a problem. You're going to go two or three passes. You get out of the line like I just did. Go back in where you cut previously. So that one's cut. And go to the next one and do the same thing. And go slow. Don't try and do it in a hurry. If you do it in a hurry, it's when you're going to run into problems. And you don't want to give quite a bit of pressure on it. Got a little extra gloss medium that's seeped out. Harder to cut through the gloss medium. problematic there, but we'll get it fixed. It's good to run into problems when you're doing a video so that you can see how to fix something. I'll look at it when I turn this over. Yeah, just a little bit of edge there. Just need to get that a little cleaner. Make sure I'm staying in the camera so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Oh, that one came off really easy. Then what I do is I use twenty grit sandpaper. It's very pliable. It's very smooth. It's very fine, and I go around the edges. And I kind of want to go in a downward motion. So that I can make sure that that's really nice and smooth. When you're cutting this, the paper tends to lift. Just curl up just a little bit. So by going in that downward motion, it removes that little tiny bit of lift there. can feel the lip. I'm all 
also sanding just a little bit of the rough. Sorry, my phone just beeped. Turn it off. Okay, I'm just continuing to sand a little bit of that side off. sure there's no roughness there. Once I take the tape off, then I'll make sure that I still don't have any roughness there. This one feels a little rough over here. I think it's mostly the, the tape. Uh, I cut some of the tape off there. Anyway, so then I take the tape off. This tape does not leave a residue on here. If you've got some tape that's a little hard to lift, just take your X-Acto knife and lift in there. It comes right out. I broke my thumbnail off really, really short. I'm trying to get it to grow back out. It hurt really bad when I did it. Get a little bit of tape in there, so I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and just lift it out a little bit. It's just a little bit rough. So I'm just going to sand it a little bit more. Very carefully. I'm not pressing hard. I look at it. I don't see any edge. Rough edges up, oh, there's a little bit there. It's not much good for anything right now. Okay, that's that. And then I'll wax it. Now, I know you've seen me wax it before, but some of you may have missed it, so I'm going to go ahead and wax it. That way it seals those edges good. And I like my edges um, natural wood, so I will uh, just put the wax over this because I've already sanded it. It's nice and smooth all the way around. And then I wax the sides as well because I like the natural wood look. Okay, this has got um, one coat of wax on it already, I think it was, and then I'll put one more coat on. Just using a soft um, microfiber cloth. I'm 
and I'm just putting a very thin coat on here. Because I don't want it to be real shiny. I'm making sure that I've got the edges of this really good with the wax. where I've put it on and where I haven't by the circular motions in there. And then I'll wax the edges. It's really warm in my studio today because it's really warm outside. So this is going to dry quite fast. along the edge. Look like it's all good. And now I'll let that dry for a few hours. 